hi welcome back to my channel um today i will be reading my garden oh my lord so we had some rain and it's like out of nowhere <laughs> we have these huge weeds and other stuff that are just growing crazy in this garden especially for the onions you know they're taking over the onion root so I am going to go in today and I am going to weed them out especially the part for the onion when you're weeding you have to be careful where you step because <laughs> if you're like me who have plants all over yes and I like to use my hand I well I don't know what else to use <laughs> So, um, I like to use my hand to just take up the weeds and to make sure that I get everything out. The roots, see? See? Yeah, that's how clean that is. To get everything out. Yep, see? So you have to hold it down the bottom and pull. Um, sometimes they may come back, but just keep on doing it and... You will get rid of all those weeds. There's so many weeds in this garden. Um, it's and then you don't want to pull pull your uh, you don't want to pull on your onions because those take a while. I planted them in um, May. And so they won't be ready until August so you don't want to let all your hard work all that hard work go in vain so you want to be careful when you're weeding but you need to weed because the weeds will take up all that nutrients from your plant or that your plant should be getting and so it is important to get rid of all these weeds and for me what I realized the best thing to do is to wait wait until early morning when there's dew and it's easier to grab the so they're still wet right so it's easier to grab the the weeds and it won't be perfect because you're trying your best not to grab your onions look at that one so nice yeah you see it's easy to grab your onions so you have to be careful and so yeah that's how I do it so Comment below and tell me how you would weed or you have weed your garden. Uh, I don't have anything sophisticated, so I just use my hands. <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful also because this is a melon, but I realize that the melons are not doing so well. And I wonder if it's the heat. Oh, we have had so high heat this this week so even if that's the reason why I come in the mornings like this because it's way cooler than to wait until afternoon then you're burning um, yeah. so I try my best to get as much weed as possible especially from around the root you know because when you do your planting not all your veggies will uh, come to fruition but at least you can help them along especially when especially for me i don't give my vegetable i don't uh spray them with chemicals so there is, I use inorganic uh, 
fertilizer um, on the soil before yeah I use organic fertilizer before I plant so um, and then I will give them uh, some some type of uh, seaweed solution which is natural right I will give them that type of sol uh, a fertilizer in the coming weeks so I don't really give them much and I don't use none of that uh, stuff that will harm both the plants and harm the earth and harm myself and my family so you know sometimes yes we want to have nice yield and stuff like that but prevention is better than cure because it's better to have a small yield or no yield at all than to have that poison ingested by the earth and ingested by you because for i personally think that god give us this earth to care for it and to like do the best right and when we use all these chemicals all these roundups and all these other stuff that they're using on the plants then we end up not only hurting ourselves and our families but if we share these uh, veggies and fruits with other people we hurt them also and we also earth the animals and the insects and the worms that's supposed to be in the ground to uh, help us uh, and help the earth so I don't use any of those stuff and uh, everybody have their preferences but that's my that's my preference that's my take on that um, so I'm gonna weed this this morning and I am I don't know if I'm gonna finish before the Sun comes out but I will definitely try my best and shit but if you see that part is cleared yep it's just to remove all the leaves and try to get the root sometimes you don't get the root and you have to keep on coming back and yes it's annoying <laughs> but it's the best way to do it and it's the natural way and yeah I think that if you take care of what God has blessed you with then you know you will make sure that you get a nice year and <coughs> hopefully I will get one of those this year last year I got some uh, some onions I did and they were really they were small but I think because I planted them so late I planted them uh, like in the middle of June <laughs> so as I, I was even lucky to get at all and they served for such a long time you know although they were small and yeah so just have to give thanks for what we have and what we can do it's been a rough year with covid and not a lot of people a lot of people lose their jobs or they got laid off they didn't have anything to do stuff like that but at least you can grow something and plant something and look ways that you can grow your own food even if you don't have a garden like this or soil and you can grow in containers if you look over there I have some containers with peppers and I will be doing a pepper video shortly on those uh, that's my bin that I use for compost <laughs> Uh, um so yeah so i'm gonna finish off what i have here and see how it goes i can't go fast because i'm holding the camera i really need to step up my game and maybe get one of those sticks right <laughs> or get a stand but i'm not there yet so uh that's it for now i want to leave with you a beautiful pepper wow look at that oh my gosh and I know some people says oh 
you know, the pepper plants are maybe not doing well, but for me, I don't want to use any, uh, any chemicals on my stuff. And so whatever I get, I will give thanks for it. You know, uh, you see my luscious <laughs> potato over there. Yeah, that's my potatoes. And uh, they have to weed as well. And if you notice, yeah, you see a lot of weeds there. The problem I'm having over there is that the weed looks like the corn. <laughs> and so I don't want to weed the weeds and weed my corn. <laughs> so if you notice, yeah, they're corns, but they're also weeds. And so I'm going to leave that one for now and just focus on the... On these uh, onions because they have lots of weeds in them and they're just choking them <laughs> so yeah all right thank you for joining me bye for now and I will see you in my next video thank you so much